Hey guys, Elizabeth Quinn here again with Elizabeth Scenes and Scents. Welcome back to my channel. Please don't forget to check out my website, which is waftingwonderfulwax.scentsy.us, where I'm Liz Quinn, your star scentsy consultant. So today what I have for you is a probably three-part series on what I'm calling my transitional wax stash. So I've got my green bins here that if you watch Instagram posts that I put up, I have been kind of hinting that this was coming while I'm having a nice little vacation break where I'm going to tour all of my waxes that are sort of halfway in between spring, summer, and fall, winter. Because my March and April here in Michigan, it's the very end of February when I'm recording this, is very much a mixed bag of weather where it can be snowing one day and the next day it can be 80 degrees. I kid you not, that's just how Michigan weather is. So it's really, really hard for me to put away all of my winter things because I know I'm gonna go rummage around and find some things that I would have put away prematurely if I'm getting rid of all my winter stuff right now but I don't necessarily want to go to a tropical paradise and melt something maybe like paradise punch which that may already be in here but or kukui and coconut so I've left the most extreme tropical things most of them in the basement because I'm just not ready to go full spring summer so I thought it would be fun I've never done this particular time period of my melting basket collection here because I kind of create a giant melting basket with this thought and put it all in my red hutch. Then I have my monthly melting basket that you guys see is that cute little box that I will use in my monthly melting basket videos. And even out of these or things that I have downstairs, I will more micromanage a specific group. So right now I'm still kind of working through some of those February scents that I pulled and I'm not going to be showing you guys that basket. Today we're just working on the first video will be my greens and blues and sort of yellows. So more fresh, seaside clean, things like that. I have two large bins that are gonna be all the spice and bakery. And then I've got a group of bins that are sort of the orange and salmon, purple, red and pink. So this first one being all fresh. So that last group probably gonna be more like romantic and fruity and floral and that kind of thing. So. This first group here, I thought it would be most appropriate since we're thinking about springtime to start with mostly green and fresh. And we'll just go through all of these and there will be a few that repeat because I did try to organize them as micromanageable as I can get, but I get a little bit butterfly moment and I'm like, you know what? I already went through that twice. If I've got doubles, they'll live. So this is how we're gonna start. I'm just gonna pull from the back and we're gonna go through each row. And these will be longer videos. I hope you guys enjoy them and just realize that my comments won't be able to come in until about a week from when I post some of this stuff for me to catch up on it all. So Fearless by Nature. This is a bar that is the epitome of weird transition season. It doesn't know whether it is a winter bar or a spring bar. It's very woodsy and foresty, kind of sharp, has a sap note. And this was part of the, ooh, I've got some stuff on my nails here too. <laughs> it was part of the really successful, I think, Frozen 2 collection where they keep bringing pieces of it back over time. So this one will come out whenever they feel like marketing their Sven buddy and all that. And this is a really good bar specifically for this time of the year. The next one that I have here, I've never melted. So here is one that I'm bringing out to focus on. This is called Sweet Cucumber. I got it in one of the flash sales a while ago. And it's really lovely. This is a perfect spring scent. It really makes me think of 1990s Bath and Body Works. It's just gorgeous. It's just sweet and cucumbery and makes me want to go dig around in the dirt. So we'll see how that one is. Probably not super strong. The next one here is Route 66. This is a very good masculine scent that is perfect either late spring or late summer, almost into the fall, because it's a really, really nice kind of herbal, woody, masculine, fresh scent. Almost shaving creamy, but not quite. And it's just super pleasant. It's really, really enjoyable. The next one that I've got here is what's a little bit left of a clam of pistachio ice cream. Now I do have more of this. And like I said, there may be a couple here where you're gonna see duplicates. I have, I think, two full clams or one other full clam of this left. One of them's in my melting basket. Mm. And this is, this is one that I did take out of my club and I do not melt it enough to really cry, but this is one of the nicest pistachio scents. I've tried other brands for pistachio and have not been as satisfied as I was with this. It's got a little bit of coconut and lots of good pistachio ice cream and I probably should have thought about not taking that out of my club. Bamboo Yuzu. I also pulled this one, but I don't feel bad about this because there are lots of scents that are similar. This is sweet, clean, and green with a yuzu lime and just other really nice fresh, not too sharp, but sweet, not really woody notes either. It's a very, it's a very happy scent. It's a very late spring scent. 
and it's a good one. So that's why I kept it in my club for a long, long time. But Pineapple Dragon Fruit, which is probably hiding in here somewhere, is similar enough, and I have quite a bit of that from last year, that I did eventually pull it. Creme de Menthe. This is one that this is like the very end of February when I'm doing this. And I think by the time that this video goes up, this will be a part of the just uh, said bye bye to Mardi Gras collection because that will be leaving the end of February. And this is the most beautiful mint. It's almost like a white chocolate mint. It doesn't give you that harsh note that for me, Peppermint Dreams will give. My friend Robin loves her Peppermint Dreams, but that chocolate, the dark chocolate in that messes me up. This one's good. Sweet, creamy, beautiful, light, and gorgeous. So then the next one I have here, this one was retired newly from the spring summer catalog. This is Apple Teeny Splash. This is one where, you know, I'll belt it. I really like this in alternate warmers with Blue Grotto. It's super effervescent, bitey kind of green apple with, I think, Nashi pear also. It's got a sweetness and a bite that's not my favorite. Here's one that has the name Meet at the Mistletoe. This was the December scent of the month. It's kind of a nondescript winter foresty smell with some sweetness from the berries. So I don't feel that this is so Christmassy that I couldn't melt this on a cold day in March. So I left one in here. This was not my favorite scent of the month. It was just okay for me. Here's one where it would have to be a really cold day where I still want to turn on fireplace and that is Rustic Lodge. This is much more of like a November, December smell but it's just this really nice wood smoke and pine sap kind of a deal and I might want to reach for that at least once. So then the next one I've got here is just for you and this is more just because I've got four cubes left and I need to get rid of this. This is a distinctly wintry smell with blackberry and fir but because of the blackberry it doesn't again feel Christmassy so I did leave it in here to maybe use up. Here is another really good one that I think I took this out of my club. It is Woodland Suede. I have several. This was my younger daughter's love of all loves when it came to Woodsy, but she's no longer melting. It's really nice. It kind of reminds me of the turning of the seasons between summer and autumn, but it would also be really good on a cold spring day. So it's very mossy and it's kind of watery at the same time. Really beautiful bar. Next on our little list here, I've got Alpine Meadow. This was an August scent of the month quite a while ago. This is beautiful for spring. It's sweet and grassy and a little bit floral with a tiny, tiny touch of some sort of a berry. And it's, it's just beautiful. Really, really happy. I have several of these from flash sales. Now here's one that you guys were just able to start ordering again and it is from the catalog, Banana Leaf and Bamboo. This was last year new release. So this is its second season. This is a very intriguing bar. It has a sweet peach note along with the mahogany and the banana leaf, and it's sort of green, complex, and sweet. So it's good. Sometimes it irritates me if I'm melting it for too long, but I'll probably order at least one more bar. Next thing that we have here is red cedar and sage. This is a great bar that we just had in Bring Back My Bar. I used to think I didn't like it, but when I melted it over the winter from BBMB, I grabbed a few more. I didn't club it. And I do have more than just these two cubes, I think. Oh, here's another whole one. Here's another whole one, and I probably have one or two hiding in my stash downstairs. So red cedar and sage is exactly what it sounds like. It's a lot of sage and a lot of cedar, and it's masculine, but there's a little bit of sweetness in it, which I didn't remember from the past that made me want to order a few more, and this will be very good again in March. Nice woody scent. The next thing that we've got here is mint feels. This was from last year's Epcot. Uh, collaboration for Disney. This is beautiful. It's strong and minty and grassy. Yeah, this smells like you are out in April or May and you are truly getting ready to dig in the dirt. And you've got a bunch of herbs to plant. It's gorgeous. Really like that. I have several of those. Another bamboo yuzu. Like I said, they're not all in order. Oh, here's the pineapple dragon fruit, which is the reason that I did pull bamboo yuzu from my club because I have a lot of these too and I have too many that I'm not melting through. This is so similar to Bamboo Yuzu, but this has a fruitier note. And I do not remember what all the notes are from last year, but I think that there is some pineapple. And of course there's dragon fruit. And I know it's literally called pineapple dragon fruit, but there's also something that they allowed the green, this green color and green packaging to be pointing to. And I don't remember what it is. It might be lime, but it's good. And it's sweet and very clean. 
And that is a good performer. Here is my, uh, if you were watching, I think it was last week's, what I've been warming, my kitchen fairy scent. This is Flower Shop. That makes me think of my younger daughter and her servant's heart. This is so good. This just smells like a bouquet of 90s red roses with baby's breath in that big puff of tissue paper that's all green. Absolutely gorgeous, very old school, I really like it. Here is one bar of eucalyptus wreath, which again, this would be for March, probably not any later than that, but if we have a snowy March day, this is such a good bar, and I did club this. This is going away at the very end of February when the catalog turns. Oh, this is so nice. It's got mint, it's got juniper, it's got the eucalyptus, but it's all subtle and frosty and just lovely. So, don't know if I'll melt it, but I've got it in here. Another Alpine Meadow. Ooh, here's one. This I only melt in the spring, and that is our classic Amazon Rain. And this is one that really leans more into summer, but it's so good. It's got coconut milk. It's got orange zest. It has beautiful lush tropicals, but it's soft and creamy. This is a bar where if you've overlooked it because it is just an old school, always in the catalog kind of a scent, you have to try Amazon Rain. It is lovely. Right now I've got it in a car bar and I'm super happy. Okay, Shamrock Splash, current scent of the month. Absolutely fabulous. You've been hearing me talk about this a lot. This is the epitome of sweet and green and just light and lovely. It throws very well. And it's an interesting mixture because you think there's like green plants in here, but it says there's jasmine, tangerine, and strawberry. Mm, it's really, really beautiful. Nice, light, fresh, fruity, happy. <laughs> Here's a bar that people love to hate. Lush Gardenia. This will be coming out probably mostly in April and May. Beautiful, creamy, heady, in-your-face, unapologetic gardenia flowers all the time. Lovely smell. I have a lot of people who had enjoyed this for a long time, especially um, my director and others, who are so shocked that this has not made its way back into the catalog. I feel sorry for people that didn't club it and loved it, but I get three a year because I skip one of my quarterly shipments and it's just fabulous. I absolutely love that bar. But that is one where you wake up that day and you think, okay, I'm gonna commit. I want to smell white florals all over my house all day long or for two or three days, honestly, that is a boomer. Okay, Alpine Meadow, we did that already. Ooh, Coco Lime, one of my absolute favorite scents for spring, summer. So I took this out of my club, knowing that it was coming back when I saw the catalog. And yeah, this is split, so I better not pop that. This is the nicest middle of the road scent. It is creamy with the lime and the coconut. But it's got a little bit of lemon lime effervescence for me. It's smooth, medium throw. I just, I can't imagine that people would dislike this smell. It's just so good. Next one here is Mad for Melon. This is a retired scent. This is probably my last bar. I think I picked it up in a flash sale bundle. And it's just really beautiful. It's honeydew melon with a little bit of floral and it's gorgeous. Might even be poppy. It's been so many years since we've had this. I could be wrong on those notes, but it's something along those lines. Here's one that I got from BBMB a while ago. And this is Cucumber Lime. This is a hard hitting, very tart and sharp, kind of a clean scent, but not sour. There's just, it's it's almost a little bit too astringent, but not quite. It's very, very refreshing and crisp cucumber and lime balance. Really strong performer, a real boomer is a good one. Here's one we're getting back this summer, you guys. Lemon Verbena, beautiful scent. If you like coconut lemongrass, you really should try lemon verbena. It's just a little bit more herbal because coconut lemongrass has the coconut and the lemongrass, which is a, a stick type thing that in Asia you would uh, pulverize it and then you can use it in cooking or, you know, there's lots of ways to deal with that, but it isn't lemon. A lot of people, I think, think that lemongrass is actually just lemon with something else on the end of it for the word, but they're completely different. They like squeeze the day is a citrus based scent. Coconut lemongrass is actually an herbal and then coconut based scent. So I'm digressing. Lemon verbena is neither of those. This is a plant <laughs> and it's a really good one. It's a really, really nice smell. I was just melting some of green tea smoothie the other day, and this is kind of a weird bar, but this time of the year, it was perfect. I believe there's raspberry or cranberry or some sort of a berry in here with the matcha powder and some other things. So it's a little bit tart sometimes, a little bit funky sometimes, but it was really good the other day when I melted one of these. Next, we have one of the best bars that's in the spring summer catalog all the time, and that is Bonfire Beach. I'm definitely not ready to melt this. Yep, this is more of like a July, August, September scent for me, but 
when you have a craving for this, you just have a craving for this and you're going to melt it anyway. So this has marshmallow. It's got flint. It's got a really nice sea spray kind of a smell and a little bit of a charred woodiness. Oh, it's gorgeous. One of the probably top 10 bars in the spring summer catalog. And just like Amazon Rain, if you've seen this for years in the catalog or online and you've never gotten one, please try it. There's a reason why it always comes back. Next one I've got here is one of the saddest things they've ever retired from spring, summer, and that is the beautiful summer holiday. This is a scent I like to melt the most in May and June. It is the most glorious floral I think they've ever created. I don't know why since he pulled this. It must just not have sold well enough. This has vanilla, tiger lily, amber, oranges, so many things that make it kind of like Endless Weekend from BBW. That's the only thing that's even close gorgeous smell that is safely in my club. So I got another one of those. Pear blossom and cucumber. This is just nice and fresh and clean. This was BBMB. This is like a little bit more body care version of the green tea smoothie. It's kind of halfway in between that and the sweet cucumber. So this is a little bit more body care than sweet cucumber, which is truly more foody, very crisp. This one it just has more going on. So like the pear blossom gives it, again, very old school 1990s Bath and Body Works cucumber melon kind of a feel, but in a really nice way. This is more of a bedroom smell. And we've got another creme de month, more flower shop. Oh, <laughs> here's a funny scent. The Muppets. This is, again, one that I probably am only going to melt in the early spring. This is such a funny bar. It's super strong. It reminds me of opening a can of fruit cocktail when you were a kid. And then I would fight with my best friend over all the cherries in there. But that, that's what this smells like. It just smells like happy childhood memories, eating your peanut butter and jelly sandwich with your little bowl of fruit cocktail and hoping that you were going to get more cherries than Anna, my best friend. And then here is a great bar for spring. The Mandalorian Air of Adventure. It's a beautiful, unique smell. So this is very blended. I know it has, I think, geranium. Does this one have geranium? And it has some sort of a really nice silver mint, I think. It's very herbal, sharp, clean, and fresh, but blended so well that nothing is offensive. It's not too masculine. It's not too herbal. It's really good smell. And it's one that I'm sure they'll be offering this again sometime soon. You have to try that one. So that's my green bin and we're 17 minutes in. So I don't know whether I'm going to get through all of these for one video. I may have to make four different cuts out of this, but next we're going to tackle some blues and then we're going to get, I think, to my other green, yellow, orange blendos over here. So first off, the marvelous and enchanting Atlantic Air. One of the nicest scents. I was just talking about maybe pulling it from my club, but I just melted it last week. Nope, not happening. We are keeping this. This is so nice with the fresh air quality, the saltiness in that sea air, and the orchid. There is just no other fresh scent quite like this. It leans a little bit old-fashioned, but in the nicest way, you guys. I'm keeping that in my club. Excellent performer, too. And the next one I have here is Pacific Daydream. This is a bar I have not melted in years. I got a stockpile last year, a few, because I've got so much wax now. How many do you need, if anything? But this was a scent of the month a long time ago. I have not melted it in a very long time, but I remember it being amazing. It's watery and sweet, and I do not remember what all of the notes are. I think that there might be some sort of... Hawaiian lava salt. I know that that is in Summer Rain, which I don't even know if I've got a Oh, I do. I do have a bar of Summer Rain here. So I know Summer Rain claims to have black lava salt, but I feel like there's, or maybe there's pink Himalayan salt in this. There is something in here. Since he went through their uh, phase where they put salt in everything, and that's when they did what now and Zen, which I cannot stand. That's not in this box, by the way. I do not have any of that. But this is subtle, a sweet water with maybe a little bit of pineapple. If you know what the notes are in Pacific Daydream, guys, let me know. So that segues me right into Summer Rain, which is more fresh and less delicately tropical. This is more just really nice oh, summer clean rain air. It's got cyclamen, it's got black lava salt. It is gorgeous. So both of those, those are like really light sort of atmospheric scents that I really enjoy in the late spring and early summer. Iridescent Pearl. I got this in some sort of a flash sale. You can barely smell this bar. In my house, this thing is almost a dud. 
It's so pretty, but it's so light. So this will just be a bedroom melt. I don't even remember what's in here. It's aquatics with maybe a little bit of lily or something. It's it's one that that was always a want for me, and I don't miss it in the catalog, but I need to melt it. Next, we've got glacier water. Now, I found out too late. My older daughter loves this. I know there's some lavender in here. Yeah, this is a little bit sharper. This is closer to laundry. So this is kind of right in between Atlantic air and say something more laundry like a jammy time. It's really good. So we've got a couple clams of this kicking around. This is almost to the bottom of this. Almost a little bit of cologne in that one too. Ooh, Luna. Now Luna's just old school, always in the catalog, always popular, always nice. It's what, sweet pea, sandalwood, berries, too gentle for me. If it was stronger, I might like it better. I always find that one kind of boring. Next one we've got here is more Atlantic air, so I don't need to pull that. Ooh, World Traveler. I just melted some of this. I used to have this in my club for a long time. I don't anymore, but this is oak and beautiful berries and pomegranates, and it's just, it's phenomenal. That is a nice one if you want something to last for a couple of days, and I don't know if we'll see that back in any flash sale bundles or some random thing in clearance, but if you like kind of an old world elegant masculine scent that's different pick some of that up if you ever see it all right the next one we've got here is crazy coconut this was something that was in our last vbmb it's a very juvenile super sweet fruity coconut scent it's not terribly authentic at all but i thought it might be fun a couple days in the summertime maybe with some pina colada cha cha or something so i've got a couple bars of that i have a bar of one of my favorite scents that is a really unique, warm, masculine smell. This is Hendrix. I'm actually melting this today with um, cashmere and corduroy alternate warmers. Oh, this is so beautiful, you guys. My husband doesn't really care for this smell, but it is really deep and woody with patchouli. It's got pink peppercorns. I feel like there's vanilla in here. It's super warm and complex, and I can never get enough of that. Okay, the next one here is Blue Coconut Beach. Now, I gambled, and in this particular case, I lost, and I'm not the only one. Oh, Blue Coconut Beach is so good. This was Mother's Day collection last year. It was so popular. I was sure it was coming back for something, but it doesn't seem to be. I have eight or nine of them. It is the creamiest, most gorgeous. Late spring, early summer. It's not really a suntan scent quite. It's just beautiful. It's coconut. It's kind of woody. It's just elegant. It's it's amazing. Throws pretty well. And I kind of regret that I didn't take that. I didn't leave that in my club, but I did leave Ocean Air and Coconut Water, which I like the delicacy of that. There's a delicate wateriness to Ocean Air and Coconut Water where the Blue Coconut Beach is a little bit muskier and creamier. I had to decide between the two, so I kept Ocean Air and Coconut Water, and I think I made the right decision. Harbor's Edge. Here is a boomer. Now, I've been shocked to hear that other people do not get great performance out of this bar. If I was going to do a top 25 strongest bars of all time in my house, this would definitely be in that. This is like you take Atlantic Air and then you make it heavy by adding raspberries and ferns and some little bit of sort of an aquatic-y, earthy mix. It's very strong, and I do enjoy it. I had it in my club for years, but I don't melt very much of this. A little bit goes a long way in my house, so I pulled it, and I've got quite a few, and I'll just enjoy them when I need to. More Blue Coconut Beach. Ooh, High Mountain Lake. Now, this was a weird bar that we had last year in the Father's Day collection. Like, really weird bar. This has Virginia Cedar and like aldehydic water notes. It's, oops, oh, it's good, but it's one where now you smell it, now you don't, unless it's strengthened a lot over the course of a year. And when I put this thing in the warmer, we'll find out whether I regret pulling this because maybe it's cured and it performs. But this is one of those where if it was just even a little stronger, I would have kept it in my club. It's a very nice masculine watery scent. That's uh, High Mountain Lake, if I didn't get the name of it. Polar Bear Hug. I'm not sure that I need any more of this right now, but I just threw one in because it's a great smell. Sometimes, yeah, like in March, I still might want some of this. It's almost like a sweet body care, classic, wintry smell. Very complex, very hard to describe, but just gorgeous and elegant. And so I don't know if I'll want one. I might. All right. Palm trees and ocean breeze. I might be slightly premature in throwing this in. This might wait until summer, summer, but it's just such a good smell. I wanted to put it in here, maybe. Oh, this is like warm tropical waters with pineapple. That's always what I get. I'm so glad it came back in the catalog. It is a good performer too. 
Lake My Day. I know this is one of the best-selling new releases we had last spring summer season. This just smells like my husband's cologne, his Aquadigio, which is what I like on him. He doesn't even have any of that anymore. He's 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 into this more mature stage of things like polo, which I love. I just don't love it on him. But this this smells like just the most wonderful, sweet, watery men's cologne with maybe a little bit of oak moss. It's gorgeous. Okay, I've got a Desert Rock and Citroen, which speaking of men's cologne, this one reminds me of my brother. But it just doesn't really speak to me when I melt it. Like, I love my brother. It's no no criticism of him. It just, this makes me think of Matthew. Maybe I'll like it better this year, but when I put this in the warmer last year compared to the High Mountain Lake, which was intriguing, this one's a little bit heavy. And the citron, I don't know. I can't decide whether this is a body care smell or a cologne smell. It's kind of strange. A little bit on the warm side. And then this is now in the catalog and we do not have to worry about being out of Mr. Stitch, at least for spring, summer. I love Experiment 626. This is such a happy bar, you guys. If you have not tried this, if you like any of those other watery scents that I just, you know, ticked through all of that, add some fruit. This is the most gorgeous smell. It's so, so happy. You have to try Stitch. So then next over here, I've got another blue bin and then I have two little yellow bins and this section will be done. By the Sea, always in the catalog, super strong. It's got your dune grass and your seaside. This is the bar a couple weeks ago. I could not remember the name of to save my life in a video. It was kind of funny. My husband loves this one. This is more like fresh seaside, whereas the Atlantic air that's now retired, it's got that little bit of elegance from the floral, but this is so, so good, you guys. Makes me want to go on vacation, which uh, I am right now, actually, while you guys are watching this. Pacific Mist. This was a total romp for me. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's four cubes of sort of blah, bland. I know some of you loved it, so I'm not trying to be insulting, but barely there, misty, sea quality, and I get nothing out of that. My mom loved it, though, because she doesn't like strong things. Blue Sage and Tonka, older daughter's favorite bar, I think. Beautiful, creamy. This is almost like an early fall smell. I know initially this did come out as a fall winter smell with the black lavender, the Tonka bean, and sage. It's really elegant. I'm glad that's still in our club. More polar bear hugs. Ooh, Southern Evening. Southern Evening is very sophisticated and gorgeous. And this is a hard one to describe. Subtle musky fruits and geranium and some botanicals. And then a little bit, it's almost like there's a little bit of men's shaving cream or some leather or something in here. Just exquisite smell. Hard to explain. Stargazing. This one is very strong, <laughs> like very strong. It's like a more sophisticated version of jammy time. And I should probably mention, cause I'm thinking about it. I have bricks that I forgot to pull, but I have like your sea salt and avocado that's currently in your club brick stash. I have a couple of jammy time. I have coconut lemongrass. I have squeezed the day. Those should all be represented here and they're not. So if you miss your sea salt and avocado, which I believe is completely retired, you can still get that as a brick in club. Mm. Anyway, stargazing is like you added lilies and vanilla and a little bit of sophistication to jammy time. And then we have, this is all that I've got left, my hero, which is another very nice masculine bar. Oh, this is pretty. It's almost got a sweetness to it and some birch and I think some vetiver and some crispness. It's lovely. Here's one of those bars that I want to love, but I don't usually, and that is Velvet Moon. This will be retired as of March 1st. This is like a really musky floral, like super duper musky floral with vanilla and all this. And my camera's telling me that I'm not gonna make it to the other bins, so we'll get through the blue bins and I'll have to cut this and then I'll add the yellows to probably the bakery stash. So we'll do the bakeries first and then I'll do the yellow, um, the yellow, you know, more springy type things because I'm not quite gonna make it on this particular cut. So more High Mountain Lake, ooh, NHL Fresh Ice. I tried this once, probably not again. It's sandalwood and mint, it's weird. Very strong, like Greg would like this, but it makes me feel almost like I'm on the ice chewing gum. I don't love it that much. Midnight Masquerade, here is a favorite. I did throw this in my club, at least temporarily. This was again from the uh, Mardi Gras collection, which just retired at the end of February. This is another weird bar, like Southern Evening. Beignets, smoked vanilla, and some other just, really interesting notes. It's good. It's really, really good. Very mysterious. 
I have a bar here of Zeppelin. This is a masculine smell that's got a lot of vetiver and crispness. It's kind of light and woody. This is nice in a bedroom, especially when I just don't know what else to melt and I want something that's not too overpowering. Then we've got, ooh, we've got a couple more things in here. I have Blue Grotto, which is such a classic. You can get this as a Brick and Scentsy Club, but you can also do it as a bar. Beautiful orange and lush, like, the Amazon Rain has a lush botanical quality, but it's soft. That is more like pow in your face greens. And then last but not least, I have what some people call the horseradish smell. This is now completely retired. This is the Mickey Mouse and Friends. It's supposed to be like peach rings or oranges or something. I need to just get that done and melt it. And one of the most elegant scents we've ever conceived, which is the Cinderella Happily Ever After. This one I continue to get more of as it's offered off and on. One of the most beautiful, elegant blue light florals with frosted lemon and I believe gardenia that we've ever had. So that is the first section of my transitional wax stash. We're going to cut it off here and I will pick up with a new set of baskets pretty soon. Have a great day, guys. God bless. Bye-bye.